Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Sarabjit Kaur and with me is Subka Kaul with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says golden era of India startups is starting now. Interacts with startups through video conferencing. 16 January to be celebrated as National Startups Day announces the Prime Minister to include the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose Republic Day celebrations to now begin from 23 January every year Election Commission to take decision on relaxing restrictions on public rallies for upcoming assembly polls BJP announces list of 57 candidates for the first phase and 48 for the second phase of assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh. BSP announces list of 53 candidates. 6041 cases of Omicron variant of COVID-19 reported in the country so far. Nationwide vaccination drive crosses 156 crore mark. Recovery rate stands at 95.83%. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways makes mandatory at least 6 airbags in vehicles that can carry up to 8 passengers. Army Day is being celebrated today. President, Vice President and Prime Minister greet army personnel and veterans. In India Open Badminton tournament, PV Sindhu, Akar Shikashyap and Lakshya Sen to play their semi-final matches today. Tiruvalluvar Day being celebrated in Tamil Nadu today. Vice President and Prime Minister pay tributes. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal to our listeners to be vigilant and to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, get vaccinated. As the new Omicron variant of coronavirus is causing concern, please continue to follow the three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain two gaz ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID related information and guidance, contact national helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that 2022 has brought several possibilities for the startup ecosystem in the country. He said India is celebrating 75th years of independence and when India will achieve 100 years of independence, role of startups will be significant in the nation's progress. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today interacted with startups through video conferencing. On this occasion, he said 16 January will be celebrated as National Startups Day. जब भारत अपनी आजादी के 100 वर्ष पूरे करेगा, उस भव्य भारत के निर्माण में आपकी भूमिका बहुत बड़ी है। देश के उन सभी स्टार्टअप्स को, सभी इनोवेटिव युवाओं को बहुत-बहुत बधाई देता हूँ, जो स्टार्टअप्स की दुनिया में भारत का झंडा बुलंद कर रहे हैं। स्टार्टअप्स का ये कल्चर देश के दूर दराज तक पहुंचे इसके लिए 16 जनवरी को अब नेशनल स्टार्टअप डे के रूप में मनाने का फैसला भी किया गया है हाइलाइटिंग द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्टार्टअप इन द नेशंस प्रोग्रेस द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड कंट्री स्टार्टअप्स आर चेंजिंग द रूल ऑफ द गेम एंड दिस स्टार्टअप इज गुड टू going to be a backbone of new india he said the golden era of india startups is starting now he said this decade is being called the decade of india and the government is taking concrete steps to strengthen innovation entrepreneurship and startup ecosystem across the country bharat aaj apne yuvaon ke is samarth ko pehchante hue neetiyan bana raha hai nirnay lagu kar raha hai हमने अनेकों हैकेथॉन्स का आयोजन करके नौजवानों को अपने साथ जोड़ा है सरकार के अलग अलग विभाग अलग अलग मंत्रालय नौजवानों और स्टार्टअप के साथ संपर्क में रहते हैं उनके नए आइडियाज को प्रोत्साहित करते हैं चाहे नए ड्रोन रूल्स हो या फिर नई स्पेस पॉलिसी सरकार की प्राथमिकता ज्यादा से ज्यादा युवाओं को इनोवेशन का मौका देने की है टर्मिंग दिस टेकेट अ न्यू एरा ऑफ इनोवेशन एंड आइडियाज 
Mr. Modi said, investment on research and development of future technology is the priority of the government. He said our effort is to institutionalize innovation in the young minds since childhood to create interest for innovation. 9,000 se jyada atal tinkering labs aaj bachchon ko schoolon mein innovate karne, naye ideas par kaam karne ka mauka de rahi hai. Atal innovation mission se hamare naujawanon ko अपने इनोवेटिव आइडियाज पर काम करने के लिए नए नए प्लेटफॉर्म मिल रहे हैं इसके अलावा देश भर के स्कूलों और कॉलेजों में हजारों लैब्स का नेटवर्क हर क्षेत्र में इनोवेशन को बढ़ावा देता है गिविंग द मंत्र लेट्स इनोवेट फॉर इंडिया एंड इनोवेट फ्रॉम इंडिया द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड स्टार्ट अप फ्रॉम इंडिया कैन इजिली रीच अदर कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड He congratulated all the startups of the country saying that innovative youth are raising the flag of India in the world of startups. He said India has improved its rank in global innovation ranking by reaching to 46 number. Innovation ko lekar Bharat mein jo abhiyan chal raha hai usi ka prabhav hai ki global innovation index mein bhi Bharat ki ranking mein bahut sudhar aaya hai. वर्ष 2015 में इस रैंकिंग में भारत इक्यासी नंबर पर रुका पड़ा था अब इनोवेशन इंडेक्स में भारत 46 नंबर पर है 50 से नीचे आया है साथियों भारत का स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम आज दुनिया में अपना परचम लहरा रहा है The Prime Minister said the government has simplified the rules related to IPR registration. He said last year 16,000 copyrights were granted, which were 4,000 in the year 2013-14. He said more than 28,000 patents have been granted in the last year, which were 4,000 in the year 2013-14. He said more than 2.5 lakh trademarks have been registered in the last year. During the interaction several union ministers were present startups from various sectors such as agriculture health space industry 4.0 security fintech and environment have taken part during the interaction over 150 startups have been divided into six working groups based on several themes these include growing from roots nudging the dna from local to global technology of future building champions in manufacturing and sustainable development the interaction is aimed to understand how startups can contribute to the national needs by driving innovation in the country the event was organized by the department for promotion of industry and internal trade ministry of commerce and industry as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav the event also marks the 6th anniversary of the launch of the startup india initiative Republic Day celebrations will now begin every year from 23rd January instead of 24th according to government of india sources the step was taken to include the birth anniversary of freedom fighter subhash chandra bose birth anniversary of subhash chandra bose is celebrated as parakram divas across the country this is in line with modi government's focus on celebrating and commemorating important aspects of country's rich history and culture Earlier the government took decisions to mark 14th August as Partition Horrors Remembrance Day. Constitution Day will be celebrated across the country on 26th November and 26th December will be commemorated as Veer Bal Divas to pay tribute to four Sahib Zadas. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has urged to register for this year's Pariksha Pe Charcha In a series of tweets today Mr Modi said Pariksha Pe Charcha is a fantastic learning experience and it provides an opportunity to connect with dynamic youth understand their challenges and aspirations in a better way He said it also gives an opportunity to discover the emerging trends in the world of education The prime minister said exams are approaching and so is Pariksha Pe Charcha 2022 He urged the participants to take stress-free exams and once again support brave exam warriors their parents and teachers. The election commission is holding meetings with the Union Health Ministry and chief secretaries of the five poll-bound states to decide on any relaxation on public rallies. While announcing the poll schedule for Goa, Punjab, Manipur, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh on 8th of this month, the Election Commission of India had said that no road shows 
पदयात्रा साइकिल और बाइक रैलीज एंड प्रोसेशन विल बी अलाउड टिल फिफ्टीन ऑफ जनवरी पोलिटिकल पार्टीज वर एडवाइज टू कंडक्ट देयर कैम्पेन थ्रू डिजिटल मोड एज मच एज पॉसिबल अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ फाइव पर्सन वर अलाउड फॉर डोर टू डोर इलेक्शन कैम्पेन बाई कैंडिडेट्स दीज स्टेप्स वर टेकन इन व्यू ऑफ द राइजिंग केसेज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन द बीजेपी टूडे रिलीज्ड फर्स्ट लिस्ट ऑफ 107 कैंडिडेट्स फॉर द यूपी असेंबली इलेक्शंस अनाउंसिंग द नेम्स इन न्यू दिल्ली टुडे सीनियर पार्टी लीडर एंड यूनियन मिनिस्टर धर्मेंद्र प्रधान सेड 63 सिटिंग एमएलएज हैव बीन गिवन टिकट्स इन दिस लिस्ट अराउंड 20% परसेंट ऑफ द सिटिंग बीजेपी एमएलएज हैव बीन डिनाइड टिकट इन द फर्स्ट लिस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ विल कंटेस्ट फ्रॉम गोरखपुर अर्बन असेंबली सीट वाइल डेप्यूटी सीएम केशव प्रसाद मौर्य विल बी द बीजेपी कैंडिडेट फ्रॉम सिराथू सीट इन प्रयागराज इन द अपकमिंग स्टेट असेंबली इलेक्शन फॉर्मर उत्तराखंड गवर्नर बेबी रानी मौर्य विल फाइट फ्रॉम आगरा रूरल असेंबली एज द बीजेपी कैंडिडेट पार्टी जनरल सेक्रेटरी अरुण सिंह सेड यूपी पावर मिनिस्टर श्रीकांत शर्मा has been fielded from his sitting Mathura Assembly constituency. In Uttar Pradesh, Bahujan Samaj Party has announced 53 candidates out of 58 seats that are going to polls in the first phase on 10th of February. Party Chief Mayavati in a conference said the party will finalize the candidates on remaining five seats in a day or two. She also said misconceptions are being circulated about her not fighting elections. she clarified that she has been a four time mp in lok sabha and a member of rajya sabha for three times and an mla for four times in uttar pradesh twice each for legislative assembly and legislative council you are listening to the midday news on all india radio a reminder of the headlines before we move on prime minister narendra modi says golden era of india startups is starting now interacts with startups through video conferencing 16th January to be celebrated as National Startups Day announces the Prime Minister to include the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose Republic Day celebrations to now begin from 23rd January every year election commission to take decision on relaxing restrictions on public rallies for upcoming assembly polls BJP announces list of 57 candidates for first phase and 548 for second phase of assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh BSP announces list of 53 candidates 6041 cases of omicron variant of covid-19 reported in the country so far nationwide vaccination drive crosses 156 crore mark recovery rate stands at 95.83% ministry of road transport and highways makes mandatory at least 6 airbags in vehicles that can carry up to 8 passengers army day is being celebrated today president vice president and prime minister greet army personnel and veterans In India Open badminton tournament PV Sindhu Akar Shikaship and Lakshya Sen to play their semi-final matches today. Thiruvalluvar Day being celebrated in Tamil Nadu today. Vice President and Prime Minister pay tributes. For quick news updates around the clock follow us on our Twitter handle at the rate AIR news alerts. Apne business ko badhane ke liye lijiye Aakashwani ka sahyog aur dijiye use bulandiyon ke pankh. Aapka business local hai ya rashtriya? आकाशवाणी देती है उपभोक्ताओं तक पहुंचने का हर विकल्प और अब तो आप घर दफ्तर या दुकान पर बैठे बैठे कर सकते हैं आकाशवाणी के किसी भी केंद्र के लिए विज्ञापनों की बुकिंग आकाशवाणी के विभिन्न चैनलों पर विज्ञापन देना सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो आरोप Welcome back to the midday news. Government has said a total of 6041 cases of Omicron variant of COVID-19 have been reported in the country so far. This is an increase of over 5% since yesterday. 
Union Health Ministry today said that over 156 crore 2 lakh doses of COVID vaccines have been administered in the country under the nationwide vaccination drive. More than 1,22,000 COVID patients have recovered during the last 24 hours and the national recovery rate stands at 94.83%. The country reported over 2,68,000 new COVID cases during the same period. Delhi Health Minister Sitender Jain has said that COVID case peak has arrived in the national capital. Briefing media in New Delhi, he said COVID cases have begun to slow down in the city. Mr. Jain said the COVID-19 cases in Delhi are expected to be reduced by 4,000 today and the positivity rate will be around 30%. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has issued a draft notification which mandates that vehicles of category M1 manufactured after 1st October 2022 shall be fitted with two side or side torso airbags, one each, for the persons occupying front row outboard seating positions and two side curtain or tube airbags, one each, for the persons occupying outboard seating positions. M1 category vehicles refer to motor vehicles used for the carriage of passengers comprising not more than eight seats in addition to the driver's seat. In a tweet, Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari also said that this is a crucial step to make motor vehicles in India safer than ever. Today is Army Day. The day is celebrated on 15th January every year in recognition of Field Marshal K. M. Karyapas taking over as the first Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army from General Francis Busher, the last British Commander-in-Chief of India on 15th January 1949. Extending greetings to Army personnel and veterans on Army Day, President Ram Nath Kovind said, the country's soldiers have displayed professionalism, sacrifice and valor in defending borders and maintaining peace. He said the nation is grateful for their service. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu said the men and women of Indian Army are known for their unmatched bravery, devotion to duty and unwavering patriotism. He said the nation is indebted to them for their selfless service in protecting the country from multiple threats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has extended his best wishes especially to the country's courageous soldiers, respected veterans and their families on the occasion. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said, words cannot do justice to the invaluable contribution of the Indian Army towards national safety. The Prime Minister said that Indian Army personnel serve in hostile terrains and are at the forefront of helping fellow citizens during humanitarian crises, including natural disasters. He said India is proud of the stellar contribution of the Army in peacekeeping missions overseas as well. Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur has also greeted the Indian Army on the occasion. He said in a tweet that he salutes all the brave soldiers who made supreme sacrifice while protecting their motherland. He said all Indians are proud of selfless service and dedication of soldiers towards the nation. Army Chief General M. M. Narwane has said that the incidents of violence have come down significantly due to the continuous efforts of the security forces. Speaking at a function on Army Day in New Delhi, General Narbane said a total of 194 terrorists were killed in counter-operations in the last one year. He said in line of control, the situation is better than last year, but Pakistan is still harboring terrorists near the border. Niyantran Rekha Par Stiti, Bite Saal Ke Tulna Mein Better Hai. Pishle Varsh February Mein Hoi, DGMOS Ke Beach Understanding Ke Baad, Ceasefire Violations Par काफी हद तक रोक लगी गई लेकिन पाकिस्तान आतंकवादियों को पना देने की अपने आदत से लाचार है सीमा पर प्रशिक्षण शिविरों में तकरीबन 300 से 400 आतंकवादी घुसपैठ करने के अवसर की तलाश में बैठे हैं सरहद पार से ड्रोन द्वारा हथियारों की स्पगलिंग की कोशिश भी जारी है नियंत्रण रेखा पर हमारे सक्रिय ऑपरेशन और मजबूत काउंटर इन्फिल्ट्रेशन ग्रिड से घुसपैठ की अनेक कोशिशों को the Enforcement Directorate has attached assets worth over 48 lakh rupees belonging to Rajiv Sharma, the journalist, in connection with a money laundering investigation. The attached asset is the residential property in the name of the journalist at Pitampura, New Delhi. The ED had initiated money laundering investigation on the basis of FIR and charge sheet filed by Delhi police against Sharma. And now let's listen to our special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle.
आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ नेशन India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. In today's episode, we remember educationist and Gandhian freedom fighter Saifuddin Kichlu, who was born on the 15th of January 1888. in amritsar punjab kichlu devoted his life to preserving communal harmony in india and was at the forefront of the protests against the rolat act in amritsar a lawyer by profession kichlu alongside fellow freedom fighter satyapal led a strike to agitate people against british oppression In a public gathering in Amritsar on 30th March 1919 addressing a gathering of 30000 people he said The message of Mahatma Gandhi has been read to you all citizens should be prepared for resistance This does not mean that this sacred town or country should be flooded with blood the resistance should be a passive one do not use harsh words in respect of any policeman or traitor which might cause him pain or lead to the possibility of a breach of peace the british were alarmed by the growing resistance against the rolat act and they arrested kichlu and satyapal on the 10th april and sent them to dharamshala their arrest triggered the mass gathering at jallianwala bagh which was violently crushed by general dyer massacring hundreds of innocent people on 13th april 1919 Kichlu was eventually released from prison in December 1919. Kichlu was instrumental in the establishment of Swaraj Ashram in January 1921 at Amritsar to train young men for national work and to promote Hindu-Muslim unity. Saifuddin Kichlu was repeatedly arrested by the British authorities and spent a total of 14 years in jail. Kichlu was also the chairman of the reception committee of the Congress session in Lahore when on 26 January 1930 the Indian National Congress declared Indian independence. Kichlu was supporter of Bhagat Singh and was actively involved with him in Naujawan Bharat Sabha. He was also a member of the foundation committee of Jamia Millia Islamia. <laughs> In 1947, Kichlu strongly opposed the acceptance of the partition of India. He spoke out against it at public meetings across the country. He called it a blatant surrender of nationalism for communalism. He was the founder president of the All India Peace Council besides remaining vice president of the World Peace Council. He received the Stalin Peace Prize in 1952. In 1951 the government of India made Kichlu along with Jawaharlal Nehru and Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad life trustees of the Jallianwala Bagh National Memorial Trust he died on 9th October 1963 we salute the great nationalist we also remember social reformer Ram Gopal Ghosh who died on 15 January 1868 one of the leaders of the young bengal group he was referred to as indian demosthenes comparing him to the greek statesman of ancient athens ghosh also helped in the establishment of bethune college in 1879 which was the first women's college in india as well as in asia Ram Gopal Ghosh joined the class of radical thinker Henry De Rosio and soon became friendly with Ram Tanu Lahiri and the other De Rosians. When De Rosio established the Academic Association, Ghosh became one of its leading members. 
In 1853, he was among the first to demand the eligibility of Indians in the civil service examinations. In 1854, he proposed the establishment of universities in India. Ram Gopal Ghosh took an active part in the establishment of the British Indian Association. We salute the great Indian. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. As our nation celebrates the 75th year of independence, a series of events are being organized by the government as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. To commemorate the occasion as a Jan Utsav, All India Radio News brings its listeners a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history. The quiz is being conducted every Monday and Tuesday in the morning news. The next question of Amrit Mahotsav quiz will be shared with listeners on Monday, 17th January 2022. आजादी के आंदोलन के खजाने में ऐसे ढेरों शब्द जिन्होंने बदल दिए इतिहास तारीख बदलने वाले लफ्जों पर आकाशवाणी समाचार ला रहा है विशेष कार्यक्रम धरोहर हर सोमवार Best wishes to all consumers for Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Hallmark ensures purity of gold. Always purchase Hallmarked gold jewelry. For any consumer related complaints, please contact National Consumer Helpline's toll free number 14404. Issued in public interest by Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India. Jago Grahak Jago. Tiruvalluvar Day is being celebrated in Tamil Nadu today. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi pay tributes to the great philosopher, distinguished saint and revered Tamil poet. In a tweet, Mr Naidu called upon everyone to read Tiruvalluvar iconic and timeless scripture, Tirukkural, which is a guide to living and virtuous life. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who often quotes Tirukkural in his speeches, today paid tributes to the great poet. He said in a tweet, Tiruvalluvar's ideals stand out for their diverse nature and intellectual depth. He also shared a video of the 133 feet tall statue of Tiruvalluvar at Kanyakumari. Tamil Nadu Governor R N Ravi, Chief Minister M K Stalin, Union Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Dr L Murugan paid floral tributes to his statues in Chennai. In India, Open Badminton Tournament PV Sindhu, Akarshi Kashyap in women's singles and Lakshya Sen in men's singles will play their semi-final matches today. Sindhu will take on Thailand's Supanida Katithong, Akarshi takes on Busanan Ongbun Phan of Thailand. Lakshya Sen will square off against Malaysia's NT Yong in women's doubles. Harita Manzeli and Ashna Roy will play their semi-final match against Benyapa Emsar. and non takaran imarsad of thailand and now let us take a look at the weather forecast for today the national capital delhi will have a cold day mumbai is expected to have mainly clear sky chennai will have generally cloudy sky with light rain kolkata will have generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain imphal aizol agartala shillong and guwahati had fog in the morning and will have mainly clear sky later And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Prime Minister Narendra Modi says golden era of India startups is starting now interacts with startups through video conferencing 16 January to be celebrated as National Startups Day announces the Prime Minister to include the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose Republic Day celebrations to now begin from 23rd January every year election commission to take decision on relaxing restrictions on public rallies for upcoming assembly polls BJP announces list of 57 candidates for first phase and 48 for second phase of assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh. BSP announces list of 53 candidates. 6041 cases of Omicron variant of COVID-19 reported in the country so far. Nationwide vaccination drive crosses 156 crore mark. Recovery rate stands at 95.83%. Army Day is being celebrated today. President, Vice President and Prime Minister greet army personnel and veterans. 
इन इंडिया ओपन बैडमिंटन टूर्नामेंट पी वी सिंधु आकर्षि कश्यप एंड लक्ष्य सेन टू प्ले देयर सेमीफाइनल मैचेस टूडे एंड विद दैट वी एंड द मिड डे न्यूज